Steve Rogers, well known as Captain America, was not always an icon for the United States. Rogers enlisted in the military, but due to physical restrictions, he was denied. With the help of Dr. Abraham and his super soldier serum, Captain America was born. The Soviets had a similar idea, and their counterpart was known as the Red Guardian. The Soviets had a couple different individuals take on the mantle of Red Guardian. For the purposes of this video, though, we will be talking about Alexei Shostakov, who was the second to hold the mantle and was also the husband of Natasha Romanova, known as the Black Widow. In this video, we will compare these two nations' heroes in terms of their origin, training, intelligence, equipment, and strength. In Steve Rogers' early life, he had a strong sense of duty and honor towards his country. After being denied into the army, he was approached by a general who offered him an opportunity to take part in a performance-enhancing experiment known as Operation Rebirth. Rogers was injected with Super Soldier Serum, which was formulated to enhance the human body and mind, reaching the peak of human potential. Captain America was put through physical and tactical training with hand-to-hand -hand combat, and he was adept in just about every form of hand-to-hand -hand combat known to man. He utilizes boxing, judo, kickboxing, jiu-jitsu, and many more. He is also very well trained in gymnastics, creating a style that allows him to be an all-around skilled fighter with his many forms and combinations of hand-to-hand -hand combat. This makes him one of the most versatile fighters. Alexei was one of the Soviet Union's most acclaimed test pilots. Because of his extraordinary skills, he was sent on the most secret and dangerous missions for his country. He dedicated his life to the KGB and was trained to become the Red Guardian. Even though the Red Guardian does not have super soldier serum, he is a phenomenal athlete with remarkable agility. He was trained in many forms of unarmed combat by the KGB. Despite being an expert in KGB combat, Captain America would have the upper hand in training, as he is skilled in more forms of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Captain America's mental performance is greatly enhanced, allowing him to process information quickly, which gives him an accelerated learning aptitude. His photographic memory allows him to read situations and adapt to any military tactic needed. Meanwhile, on the grounds of intelligence, being one of the best pilots in the KGB required the Red Guardian to display a great deal of intelligence to react to various challenges in the air. However, without the Super Soldier Serum, his IQ was limited to that of a slightly above average military fighter. In a fight between the two, Cap would have the advantage because of his enhanced memory, giving him the ability to adapt and counter more efficiently than the Red Guardian. Moving on to some of their equipment, the most notorious symbol of Captain America is his iconic shield, which is made out of a vibranium and proto-adamantium steel alloy, making it durable and a formidable form of defense and offense. On the Red Guardian's belt, there is a disc that he could hurl as a weapon when detached from his belt. There was a magnetic device inside which gave the disc the ability to return after it had been thrown, similar to that of Captain America's shield. While the Vibranium Shield is one of the most useful pieces of equipment, the boomerang-like return after the throw can be nullified by the technology within Red Guardian's belt. With that element of surprise, it would give a brief upper hand to the Guardian. The physical strength of Captain America was enhanced to the peak of human potential, making him one of the strongest humans. Along with his strength, his body also eliminates any excessive buildup of fatigue, producing chemicals in his muscles, giving him exceptional endurance. The Red Guardian, on the other hand, had the same strength as a man his age, height, and build, who was in top physical condition. Even though it seems as if Captain America has the upper hand in most categories, the two did go head-to-head -head in combat at one point in Marvel's comics, both holding their own against each other. In that story, Captain America and others showed up to stop the People's Republic of China and the Soviet Union from using the Psychotron, a device that would induce mass hallucinations on the United States. Standing in their way, however, was the Red Guardian and a Chinese colonel, Colonel Ling. In disgust, Captain America saw the Red Guardian as simply a carbon copy of himself. What he didn't know was that he was trained to be his counterpart. The two went back and forth exchanging blows. Captain America threw his shield at him, only for it to be tampered with by the Guardian's electronically controlled belt disc. The shield was now incapable of returning to Captain America after he threw it. They continued to go back and forth until Colonel Ling shocked Captain America while he was standing on an electrical grid rendering him unconscious. This displeased the Red Guardian as he felt that it was unfair and he took it as a personal attack on his ability to hold his own. In our opinion, if the fight were uninterrupted, the two could have fought all day, but ultimately Captain America would have come out on top because of his physical and mental enhancements with the Super Serum. The two were very similar in each aspect, but the stamina endurance of Cap would have exceeded that of Alexei's. 
Let us know what you guys think would have happened if the two had fought without interruptions in the comments below, or any other possible scenarios that would have altered their fight that weren't discussed in the video. As always, thanks so much for watching, and have a marvelous day.